When considering new windows for your home, there's many decisions that need to be made. Colors, styles, different options that go into that window. A great place to start is right here in the showroom. You get an opportunity to see exactly what the window will look like when it's installed in your home. We have professionals that will work with you hand in hand from that start of that process all the way to the completion of the installation of your new windows. And once you've made a few decisions here, we'll actually come out to your home for a full evaluation. That's where we measure the windows. All these details and the sizes are sent up to our factory in Maine. Order processing takes care of that information and gets the process started. Right now, we're gonna head up to the plant and visit with my good friend Andy as he takes us through the entire process of manufacturing a New York Sash brand window. Now one of the most important components of your window is glass. And this is my favorite part. I love to take a look at the manufacturing process. I'm here with my good friend Andy. Andy? Hey Scott, how are you man? Good to see you again. Good to see you. Tell us about our windows and tell us about this first process, the glass. This part of the process is, is very important. This is where we make the IGs, or insulating glass units, that are going to go into your windows. What we do here is we take two pieces of high performance soft coat low weed glass and we put a third pane in the middle so that we have two air chambers that will keep the cold out and the warm in in your homes in upstate New York. So this is where the process starts, Absolutely. the glass and cutting the glass. Absolutely. Tell me about the equipment and everything that goes well, into this Well, what we're part. standing in front of is the glass optimizer. And what the glass optimizer does is it utilizes a 72 by 84 inch sheet of glass so that we have the least amount of waste possible. So when you place an order with us, what we do is we take your order and it gets exploded out into different patterns. The patterns are then laid out onto the glass that we drop on these tables. The machine right behind me is a gantry that actually has the glass cutter on it. And that's gonna cut the glass down to the window size that you place on order. And then the, the operator, he, he, he goes through and he's got to break apart all the glass, right? right. And, and well, how, do they, do how do they keep track of that? Well, there's a, there's a program that we have in the computer that takes this exploded view of your windows and it reorganizes it. At the end of this line, there's a rack that has a series of numbers on it. And on his computer monitor, he has a designated number that he puts that piece of glass into so we get the window back into the order that you place. Okay, so the, the glass is cut, it's put on racks, then it goes to what steps next? Well, the next step in the process after we finish cutting the glass is to prep it to be made into insulated units. The first thing we do in that process is we take the low weed, that high performance glass we were cutting before, and we have to remove that coating from the surface of the glass so that when we put the adhesives on it to make the glass stick together, it's sticking to the glass and not to the coating. The reason that we do that is to support that warranty that you hold so dear. This makes sure that the glass is going to last a lifetime. So from this step here, this is for the spacer system to go on That's it. That's right. And then they take it and it goes into this piece of equipment. What, what happens over here? What you see over here on the, on the left here is a glass washer. And what that does is it washes the glass twice, it rinses it once, and then the fourth step in it is to make it dry because it's very, very important that the glass is dry for the sealants that we're going to be putting on. I noticed that he put a, a piece in between without scoring the edges. In between, in, in, your, in the windows that we make for New York Sash, is it's triple glaze. There's two pieces of low E on the inside and outside, and in the middle is a piece of clear glass that has no coating on it at all. Okay, so the, main, so the process for triple glazed is a little bit more intensive than double glazed. Oh, absolutely, because in a double glazed unit you only have one piece of low E and one piece of clear. The reason that your windows are so efficient is that you have two pieces of high performance low E glass and one piece of clear. From here, the next step in the process is to apply the spacer system. Now we use a specially formulated spacer system that eliminates any kind of metal from the spacer, which makes it more thermally efficient. What they do, it's a ribbon spacer that goes completely around the edge of the glass. And what that does is it minimizes the number of uh, spaces in the sealant itself that can become sealed for. Now the old fashioned way was to actually use metal in there, right? right? They used to use metal. And actually some manufacturers still do use metal. 
Now what's unique about this system is it uses a polycarbonate instead of metal. And that's where you get your high thermal efficiency. Plan. It's got to be much more efficient than metal. Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely, because you know how much of a conductor metal is. And a polycarbonate has almost, there's absolutely no conductivity. What's also happening at this operation is that if you elect to have grills that make the colonial look of your windows, this is where the grills are put in between the glass. And the reason that most homeowners like that is that they have the look of uh, segmented lights, but when they clean the window, it's all one thing of glass. It goes into the oven next, right? Right, that's, a, that's a, uh, an 84 inch wide oven press. The first segment where the bright lights are, are quartz emitters. And what the quartz emitters do is they heat up the glass and they heat up the spacer system. And what that does is it prepares it to be pressed into the three quarter inch IG that's going to go into your window. Okay, so that that's actually what seals the glass, the spacer. Now we now we have a, a contained unit that'll be assembled into the, the, the sash. Once the glass comes out of the oven, this is another thing that uh, the New York sash window does that other manufacturers may or may not do. A lot of the windows that are manufactured nowadays are just insulating glass with low wig. The New York sash product is is special because. There's double coated low E, like I told you before. There's two chambers that are on either side of the low E. And what New York sash windows have is they put an inert gas in there called krypton on one side and another inert gas called argon. And what that does is it super insulates that, that, those pieces of glass. And the process, this is the filling station here. So once they come out, all the, all the gases are inserted into the sashes. This is a specially calibrated machine, and what it does is it pumps the argon into the system. And argon is heavier than air, so it wants to settle to the bottom of the glass unit. And as it settles, it builds up from the bottom and forces the air that's in there out. And when the machine senses argon, it knows it's filled and shuts itself off. In the other chamber, we use an even more uh, expensive gas called krypton. Krypton is much more dense than argon. So it does the same thing, takes a little bit longer to fill it, but it displaces the room air, pushes it out, and when it senses Krypton, it shuts it off. And that will give it the efficiency and just comfort, right? I mean, that, I mean that, that's what, when people say, I got a drafty window where I feel a draft, a lot of it's just from those convection curves. Absolutely, absolutely. And all that is is the, is the air just emitting from the glass itself because it's so cold. Now, where does the product go from here? We've got the, the sash, or the glass, the yeah. insulated glass unit. These are done. What's the next step in the whole process? The next step in the process is this will be staged. Each one of these has batch numbers on the back side of the rack. From here, it'll go over to the, uh, to the window line later on to be joined up with the sash and the frame. Okay, so, so the next step is gonna be actually assembling the window. Absolutely. Right? Similar to the glass optimizer, we cut the vinyl the same way. Because an important thing to us, besides making sure that we make energy efficient windows, is to make certain that we're not throwing waste into landfills and what have you. So optimization lets us get the best yield possible out of these linear. So the frame goes down one side and the sash goes down the other. Absolutely. And a similar process for both? Yes, absolutely. It's an identical process as far as the actual mechanics of it are. The only di difference is they're different profiles. What Matt's doing over here is he's looking at the optimization screen that tells him these parts that he's cutting, where they're going to go and what they need to have done to them. Now Andy, I, I talk a lot on the show about you know mechanics of the window and fusion welding and sometimes you kind of take it for granted that people actually understand it, specifically what that means. But this is actually the process. Absolutely. What this machine be behind me does is it actually takes the, the vinyl parts that we cut and it melts off the ends of it and we press them together at 120 PSI. And when that process is done, that frame of that window is actually one piece of vinyl. It actually makes the corners stronger than the material itself. That's the, what the beauty of fusion welding is because it completely seals the frame from the outside element, meaning there's no air infiltration and no water infiltration through that window because we've made that all one piece of vinyl. 
that makes for a very strong uh, set of frame and it also makes for a very square window. This way, again, helping you in the field, when you go out and take a New York sash frame and put it into that opening, we're guaranteeing at this point in the precision uh, operation that that window is perfectly square. Okay, now that the frame has been cleaned, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to add the accessories to it. And the accessories I'm referring to are the screen, the insect screen that's gonna keep bugs out of your house, and there's other accessories that have to be added for the final assembly process. While all of the framework has been going on, simultaneously the sashes that go in there, the parts that go up and down, are being made down this side of the line. So for every frame there's two sashes being made simultaneously. On this side of, on this side of the line, what, we, what you see this gentleman over here doing is he's putting spacer blocks in there. And why we put spacer blocks all the way around the frame of the window is that we want to make certain that the sash glass is completely centered in the window, okay? And why is that important? It's important for a couple of reasons. The first reason is we don't want the glass touching the vinyl so that when you close your window, we don't want to have any shock problems cracking the glass. The other reason is we want to make sure that because of the exchange of heat, hot and cold in a house, there's condensation that can form. We want to make sure that that doesn't touch the glass ever. And by shimming the window that way, it keeps the glass off the bottom of it. And they have a weeping system that lets that condensation get out, which adds to the life of the insulated glass unit. So why is that important to the customer? Um, I mean, we have a, we, we're going to all this trouble to make sure that the, the, the glass is inserted perfectly. I mean, because we get a lot of calls. My old windows, they're all fogged up. Right. Is that from That's exactly what happens. The, the biggest deterrent to a lifetime seal on a window is water. So we have to do everything in our power to make sure water does not ever touch that ceiling because it'll make it to break. It'll break it down. There's an architectural glazing tape that we put around the perimeter of the window which adheres the glass to the sash of the window. And it's almost kind of like unibody construction. Well, you take the strength of the glass and the strength of the vinyl and you marry them all together, and now you have a nice, strong component that's going to last a lifetime. Well, and that's why we have the lifetime warranty. We're not going to have those issues. That moisture won't be able to build up in there, and they won't have that problem with a and seal we're, failure. We're going to protect against that every way we can. This is the part of the operation where the glass that we made before and the screens that we make for the windows, everything comes together at this part. This is the final assembly area of the window. Here's the glass that we made before. That glass is gonna get put into the sashes. It's gonna get sealed, and we make sure that on the exterior of the window, we do proper sealing so that rainwater can't get into that IG as well. So we do, again, everything in our power to make sure that that stays dry. That's an external glazing bead that protects the edge of the glass. And in the unlikely event that a piece of glass gets broken, that makes it so you can reglaze it. So what happens now is we've made our frame, we've made our screen, we made our glass, we made our sashes, now we're going to make a window. And that's what happens right here. Over on this side here, the top sash, bottom sash of the window, that frame is going to get moved down the line, they're going to pick those two components, they're going to inspect them to make certain that they're, they're the right uh, accessories have been added to it, and they're going to install them into the frame. And what we're going to do right now is show you the finished product. It's incredible. I, I think it's just unbelievable how all these parts, pieces, and components come from the back of the building. We had the glass over here, the, the sash components, the frame components, and how this whole thing goes together. I mean, I just find it's incredible. And we have the New York sash, the New York sash window. I mean, I just find it to be. It's like a, it's like a symphony. Every single part of this is coordinated from the very point of order all the way to the finished product. Everybody in this factory works on the sequence and that sequence is, is, is finalized by having a window that comes together all the components at the same time without ever having to worry about inefficiencies in the manufacturing process.